The health department is telling businesses and schools they don't need to notify the public if an employee tests positive for coronavirus. So that raises the question, how much is the community entitled to know for their own safety? 17's Karen Hua explains. I have multiple sclerosis and I just got diagnosed with cancer. So I am one of those immunocompromised people that they talk about. Megan Evans has four kids. Two go to Centennial High. And when she went to pick up their Chromebooks last week, there was no one there. There was like a cleaning crew, I guess. Meal distribution had also suddenly stopped at Centennial. It made her wonder if someone at the school had gotten the virus. So we asked Kern High School District, and they said, as per guidance from Kern Public Health regarding the privacy of medical information, KHSD cannot confirm or deny that any member of our district community has tested positive for COVID-19. That's what public health has instructed every school district to say. So if a teacher tests positive, administrators can't notify parents, students, or staff. If I were to know ahead of time that one of my children were exposed, I could do the precautions at my own home of quarantining myself to my room or something. Public health has been pretty tight-lipped when it comes to positive cases. I don't know. I don't have that information. There's really no way for us to answer that. Breaking information down only by age range and five very large multiple zip code geographical areas. A statement from public health read in part, the employer does not need to take separate action unless advised otherwise. An employer may not have complete and accurate information to disclose. But some employers have disclosed positive cases among their employees, like Bold House Farms, Albertsons, Trader Joe's, Brookdale Senior Living, the Sheriff's Office, and the state prison system. Last week, before public health's guidance, Standard School District also shared that someone in its community tested positive. It didn't address who it was, whose classroom it was, you know, it just said someone. Evan says she just wants a generic statement like that. I don't want the teacher or student or whoever it is to be singled out. That is not, not what I want at all. Public Health says its guidance is directed by HIPAA privacy rules. But under HIPAA, there are 18 identifiers of information that can't be given out. Employer is not one of them. It's a sad judgment call. I think. For the health department, it's a balance to protect patient privacy and public safety. But for Evans, she says not knowing if she could have been exposed to the virus doesn't allow her to get tested or quarantine herself out of precaution. Without being informed and me being immunocompromised, that's really scary. In Bakersfield, Karen Hua, 17 News.